Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Behind the Reel. I'm your host, John, and today we've got another Humminbird video. We're gonna be going over the One Boat Network app. If you guys are using Humminbird equipment, this is definitely something you're gonna to wanna to take advantage of. Alright you guys, I kind of held off on doing a video on the One Boat Network app for a while. Kind of glad I did because we've just got some new features released on this with the announcement of the Quest trolling motor. So if you guys end up purchasing one of the Quest trolling motor options, you've got some features on this app that we will go over here. Uh, this is an app that I have used to update units as well as do a little bit of map study. So there's a really wide variety of options why somebody might download this app. If you're a Humminbird or a Minn Kota user, you're probably going to want to download this. If you have the whole one boat network thing going on on your boat like I do, then you're definitely going to want this thing. We've got options from trolling motors to mapping to software updates, raptors. I mean, the... Uh, possibilities are nearly endless at least when it comes to the Johnson Outdoors lineup of products so uh, we'll go ahead and we'll open up this app on our phone and we'll dig into it just to kind of give you guys an idea of what you can expect with the One Boat Network app so once you download it you've got a few different options here and the one at the very top that you're gonna see is motor and you're gonna to have to agree to some terms there. Uh, but once you get past that, you're gonna see that you have all of the same options on this app that you would normally have on your trolling motor remote. So whether you're running an iPilot or an iPilot link, you're gonna be able to use this app as your control. So if you end up leaving your remote at home and you're one of those guys who likes to use a remote, I'm pretty much a strictly foot pedal guy, but maybe there's something that you need to do on your remote that now you can do through your app. So just a real quick glance over this thing. I don't have this paired up with my trolling motor at the moment, but you've got spot lock options. You've got autopilot. You've got record for recording a trail. You've got the go to option if you want to go to a waypoint or go to a contour line. Um, you've got mark for marking waypoints. And even for you Ulterra guys, you've got a trim and a stow option. So you can accelerate, you can throttle down, you can turn left and right, you can engage the prop or disengage the prop. You've got all the same options that you would normally have right here in the palm of your hand. and. That is just one reason why you might want to download this app. So if you've got a Minn Kota trolling motor, this is something that could definitely come in handy. Just want to take a real quick break from this video to let you guys know about one of the longtime supporters of this channel, and that is BizBaits. You can check them out at bizbaits.com. If you want to get one of my very favorite soft plastics, check out the BizBug if you're looking for like a creature bait. If you're looking for a stick style worm, check out the Sassy Stick or a Finesse Worm. You're gonna wanna look into the Dizzy Diamond. They've also got some really cool spinner bait, buzz bait, and jig options for you. So make sure you go check them out, bizbaits.com. Tell them Behind the Reel sent you. Okay, the next thing that you're gonna see on here is Raptor, and you have the ability to control your Raptors with this app as well. You do have several different options and you can toggle between an auto bottom, a standard, rough water, and a soft bottom. This is going to affect how that shallow water anchor performs. Now you also have an option to deploy or stow these individually, or you can control them both at the same time and you can toggle between that right here on the app and then you also have the ability to adjust the speed 
and you can go between low, medium, or high. So if you want them to deploy quickly, you can bump up to the high option, and obviously you can you can go down to the low or the medium. You also have the ability to turn active anchoring on or off. If you get the option with active anchoring, you'll have the ability to turn that on or off. But basically the way I understand active anchoring is it's kind of always searching for that bottom. That way when the anchor deploys and it hits bottom, it doesn't get pushed off of the spot by wind or current and maybe pushed off into a little bit deeper area. And if that were the case, if it didn't have active anchoring, it wouldn't try to dig down deeper, always searching for that bottom contact. So that's something that you have the ability to control here. And if it were up to me, if you guys are looking to purchase a set of Raptors, I would definitely get them with the active anchoring. It's only like a hundred or $200 upgrade in order to get that. Okay, and the next thing you have is the chart view. And this is probably gonna be one of the most utilized aspects of this app. And this is definitely why I initially downloaded it. And that was to be able to take advantage of the VX premium mapping. You can purchase it through the app, or if you end up purchasing a physical map card, you have the ability to access it through the app. So this is a really cool option. I did do a whole in-depth video on the VX Premium card, and you can access, I think, just about every single feature on that card. And basically what you're gonna use this for is map study. Um, you guys can kind of see right here where I have kind of dialed in how I like to see my lake shaded. You can see where, you know, the river channel is clearly defined. You can see the shallow water offset with that red highlight. And then you can also see in areas where you can see underwater islands or ledges or humps or maybe extended points. You know, these are all things that you're going to be looking for. Uh, in order to find fish. So you can go pull up this app in the comfort of your own home. Maybe you're out of town fishing a term tournament that you didn't get a pre-fish for. You can actually pull this up, find a few key areas, and that way you're not going into this tournament completely blind. But this is a really great way to do a little bit of map study and one of the many reasons why you may want to consider downloading the One Boat Network app. Okay, the next thing that you're going to see on the app is my data. And this is going to be your waypoints, routes, and tracks. And that is going to store all of the information inside of this app. If you want to create a waypoint, create a route, or a track, you can actually record that information in the app and save it. And you'll be able to access it right here. And as you can see here, you have the ability to create both routes and tracks through the app. So this is something cool that you, again, are going to be able to do from the comfort of your own home in order to make yourself more efficient on the water. So the next thing you're going to see is network and updates. And this is going to be how you're able to update the software on your units. You're going to be able to do this wirelessly. We've done videos on this in the past through the old Fish Smart app. Um, one thing I have noticed with this new app is your connection is just a little bit more stable. You don't have as many issues with your unit losing communication with your phone. So that is something that I'm definitely looking forward to using the app more moving forward with updating software. For a long time there, I just completely ditched updating software utilizing the app. And I was just going to updating it the old school way, downloading the software update onto an SD card and putting it in the unit and, and doing it that way. But with that being said, I'm happy to be able to utilize my phone to perform software updates moving forward. Now, the next thing you see here is the self-help section. You have a bunch of different options here. You've got product manuals, frequently asked questions, You've got the Humminbird TV. Um, you've got product manuals. You've got all kinds of stuff here that you're able to access just in the palm of your hand. You know, if it has to do with Minn Kota or Humminbird products, chances are if the information has been put out there by Minn Kota or Humminbird, then you're going to be able to access it through this app. So, uh, very handy to have that all in one place. I imagine 
most of you guys know how to navigate social media well enough to find this stuff, but it does come in very handy if you're in a pinch and you can't find something, then this may be your new tool to find it. You also have the ability to register your products, whether it's a unit, transducer, or a trolling motor through this app. The other thing that you have the ability to do is contact customer service and request a callback. So if you don't want to sit there and wait on hold, you can actually use the app in order to notify customer service that you're needing their assistance and set up a callback. So that's a pretty sweet option. I hear from people quite often that they don't want to call customer service because they don't want to have to wait on hold forever. The One Boat Network app makes it easy for you to contact customer service. One thing I will say on Humminbird's customer service is that it is top notch. If you ever have to call them, they are really good about getting to the root of your problem. If you have something that needs to be repaired or replaced, they'll be on top of it. And a lot of times, if you have a settings issue or something like that, they'll help you diagnose that and get you back up and running as well. So don't hesitate to call Humminbird Customer Service. They have some of the best customer service in the industry. All right, and there you have it. That is the One Boat Network app. Hopefully you guys learned a thing or two. If you haven't done it already, go ahead and download that app. It's definitely gonna come in handy. There's so many different options that you have available right there at your fingertips. I highly recommend it. I've got it on my phone and I use it quite often. So guys, if you have any questions about this video or if you have recommendations on what you'd like to see moving forward, make sure you put a comment down in the comment section below. If you just wanna show some support, I'd love to see some comments down there. Like, share, subscribe, do all that stuff because we're growing this thing. I appreciate you guys tuning in and we'll see you on the next one.